YouTube, it's Gravis Skull Mystic. Welcome back to part two of Strange Night. In the last video, I walked around here for a while, safely and securely, and then boom, Sinead O'Connor reared her ugly head and basically made me produce a whole bunch of nuggets in my drawers. I am now going into part two, and I've had some thoughts about this since I played the last episode. And one of them is I thought that the language they were using in this game was Spanish, but I've read up on the game a little bit in the development of this game, and it's developed it's in Brazil. And I believe that the Brazilian language is Portuguese. So this, all this stuff is in Portuguese, not Spanish like I originally thought. That being said, I am now ready to immerse myself into ghostly laughs and closing doors and all those things that make this so much more fun. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep it together a little bit better than I did last time. But a game is a game, so let's plunge back into it right now. Now, she has just managed to... I don't know, I'm back in the office now. That's quite odd. And for some odd reason, I can't move. And that chair that was in the hallway that was doing the spinning trick is now in here. I guess I, I guess that's blocking my way. And I don't see any... The time has moved about two hours. I don't see any way to get up or... I can still read the directions. And I can still change cameras. And those handprints are still on the wall there by the alarm. But I'm not... I like how I've got one, two, three, four, and five for cameras. I'd like to push button six for haul ass out of here. I wonder if that would be possible to add that to the game. Developers, if you can hear me, add push button six to haul ass the hell out of here. Let me see. Okay, there's like a whole lot of nothing going on. I must be in the game still and moving. Or, or okay. Uh, yeah. Or progressing because I can I have the, I cannot move but when I try to move forward and it looks like Sinead's taking over the telephone system as well I'm sorry I have to call her Sinead but she looks like Sinead O'Connor all right um, yeah there's the fly I hear it buzzing if I remember my lore correctly the presence of flies like this or the sudden presence of flies means demonic presence if I remember my lore correctly. I wonder if this is like more a demon than a ghost, but who knows at this point. See, all I want to do is get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm starting to think too that this might be just a formulaic game and that there's a, in that there's a storyline. Okay, what's this here? It says you're not the first, but you but will be special. Oh well that sounds great. Great and ominous. Anyhow, as I was saying, I think there's like a, a, a locked-in storyline here. No matter what you do, certain things are going to happen. I mean, you can trigger events faster or slower by doing what you need to do, but that the same general storyline is going to happen here because I was doing everything I could. Oh, shit. Lovely shaking of the walls, it sounds like. I was doing everything I could to avoid the presence in the last video but she just said bam popped up on me and there was, there was nothing in it. and I think what triggered it was me walking to that bathroom for the first time she is not going to get me uh, she's probably going to get me because I can't move I don't I don't damn it it's like an earthquake in here I don't know if you guys can hear that but it's like it's, it sounds just like an earthquake the walls are shaking I mean nothing is moving on the cameras yet <laughs> but Oh, that was mighty dark. Damn. One of the lights is out. Lovely. Oh, there she is down at the end of the hall. See her? She's flickering on the monitor. That's where she got me at before. Uh-oh. <laughs> is having fun? No, I am not. Is having fun. Oh, she's having fun. I'm sure. Oh, shit. There she is. I just saw her a second ago. I get the idea that, like I said, she sort of snagged me again here, but what's she waiting for? Why? 
is just, just try to like milk every ounce of fear out of me that there's possible. I am not going to scream this time, guys. I, I, I'm going to do everything I can to not scream. That's another part of the formula of this game, though, I think. It says, there's an algorithm in here that says, player has not crapped in pants in five minutes. Please remedy the situation immediately. I think <laughs> that's what's going to happen here. Yes, I am now whistling in the dark. And much darker than just getting up there's some light. It's bad whenever you look to the light of the monitor for reassurance. Yes, come on, come on. I want, I, I want to hang up the phone now. She is, she just straight pulls her guys or something like that. She's just playing hell with the lights and walls and doors and I don't know how much of that you all can hear, but I heard something rustle just now. That's, yeah. Makes you want to look behind you. And she's way down there. I just saw her. It's, it's kind of bad seeing your doom coming and not being able to move. I really want button six, please. Haul ass. Although I don't know where, I really know where I'd haul ass to. And this is, it isn't very big like the reviews said. Oh, there she is. She's in the main hallway right now. Oh, yay. Cannot move. Yes, I want to move. Please. It looks like she's, like, blackening the areas one by one. Yeah, I... I yeah, I see some trouble for our hero. Coming very soon. Oh, man. She's going to black me out with that freaking red camera, I'll bet you. Yeah, you hear it? It's, the flies are speeding up and the lights getting faster. Oh, shit! Holy shit, she's outside. Stay out there. Go off and visit your folks for Christmas, something, anything. Go away. I'm keeping an eye on her so she can't move. Maybe if I watch her, she won't be able to move. I know she's gone. That's That didn't work out. Oh, my God. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I can't see it. That's almost not bad. I can't see anything in the darkness. I still can't move, though. What the hell? Holy moly! Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, is it done? What the hell? Okay, that was weird. I just like, I don't know if it was the game or what, I just froze for a minute there. Maybe she exhausted herself, that would be cool. Go back to the land of hellish screams and smoky gray vapors or whatever, wherever it is you came from. Go back there. Pull up a chair and stay a while. Can I move? No. Well, what in the world? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just jumped right out at you. Oh, I went to try to read that writing on the wall. Oh, shit. She does, too. Boy, she just pops right out at you. No fool about. Oh, man. Okay, that did not work out as well as I had planned. I, I didn't scream loud. Not much. Oh, man. All right. Am I dead? No, I cannot move. So I guess I'm not done yet. This game is strange. It's like, she doesn't really kill you. She just like, scares you to death into the next stage. What the hell is this? She just scares you to death into the next stage. See, now it's like I'm in the camera. I can change the monitors, but I can't move. Or do anything weird. Yeah, it's like I'm in the camera. Oh, shit skis. She's in the monitoring room looking out. That just... Oh my god. Oh, that can't be good. She just stuck back in the monitoring room. If I'm in there. What the hell? What in the hell is going on with this chick? She's not only ghostly, she's crazy. 
Let me move. Let me do something. Come on now. I don't want to be stuck in the camera forever. I'm not good on TV. Nothing. It's, yeah, that's all I can do is change monitors. That's it. Oh, sh okay. I can watch the chair spin. Yeah, I'm going to drink now before she scares me. I get to watch the chair spinning again. I guess the Sinead's ghost is showing us what she can do, I guess. Okay, and... Not watching you, Sinead. You're boring me now. Yeah, right. So what? Okay, I'm calming down a little bit. It's time to come and scare me again. I feel like I'm not making progress right now. I'm watching a lot of TV. Uh-oh. Black, black is never good. Uh-oh. I'm like leaning back on this one. You're not going to get me again. No. What the hell? But you guys can hear that. It's like the janitor's coming in cleaning up. What the hell? Press F for flashlight. Okay. The chair is gone. Straight dark. Oh, this is kind of this is kind of worse. Okay. I guess now we have to go out in the dark and find her. Is that that's that's so much better. What am I doing now? The arms no longer work, and all the portraits are now like a feather. Ooh, that's weird. I don't know what that's about. Okay, I think I'm on to something here. I'm gonna test this out. This just went to like this rose sienna colored hue for the game screen. I want to see if I, yeah, okay, it's back to green. And it's green in here. I was noticing earlier whenever she was taking over the cameras. Shit, the sounds in there. Oh, shh. I <laughs> freaking closed the door myself, scared the crap out of myself. Anyhow, I was, as I was saying, I noticed earlier whenever she was taking all the cameras, it went to this rose sienna hue, and that means that there's something going on in that area, and I just happened to see the symbols on the wall over there. See, watch. Yeah. At first, I thought there was something up there, but that's just the plant that, like, it's a glitch in the game, or the plant's up there in the corner of the wall. That's why I was up there, though. All right, let me see. There's a the symbols on the wall. An eyeball and some kind of monkey monkey face. I don't know what the hell that is. Does it do anything? What the hell? Well, there's a number, another symbol. And a dude. And I can see the hand in the corner there like... Oh, that's like I'm embedded in the wall. That's weird. Another flower picture. Another symbol. I wonder if I have to go to that symbol. Okay, but when I move, it puts me back there. Alright, so I guess what I have to do is maybe I have to go to the other symbol and, like, touch it. Like, I touch this one. It doesn't look like something good is going to happen. Maybe that's what I have to do. I love these freaking game sounds. Man. They, they went to Creepy RS and got this stuff. That's the camera. Another picture. Oh yeah, all the pictures are feathers. I don't quite understand what that means. Like hide behind the plant. It's the only living thing in this place. My look, it's a plastic plant too. What's up with all these wine bottles? I don't understand that. Shit, I'm not further around. Once again. Door's still locked. Looks like somebody lost their birth control. Looks like, like old-fashioned birth control pills. That's odd. What an odd thing to have in here. Okay, there's that symbol. And I was like like a statue on the wall here or something. Weird. Now. 
I see it's here, but I don't know what it's about. I have to go back over there? I'm gonna go back over there and look. Wait, this is the bathroom. Okay, there's nothing in here now, but there was. I see it flashed on that one, but it won't do it again. Maybe I have to go back over there. Let's, let's go back over there and see if that's what it is. You look at the window and see her here. That'd be just wonderful. Oh, man. I swear to God. I swear this thing is getting darker and scarier as it goes. Is it possible to get darker? Wait a minute. The radio, all it does instead of being reassuring is being more creepy. Because it just sounds like, because it's in Portuguese, it just sounds like gibberish. symbol is over here now, so I've obviously done something right. I don't know what it is. You can hear the lights are out. They do like their wine, don't they? So I hear radio over here, but... again still, but... See, it switches that, that sienna color, but I don't quite know what it means just yet. Maybe I have to check the cameras. Oh, that's right, they weren't on, were they? Clock flying. Yeah, the cameras and all this stuff is out. What exactly does that mean? Okay, red light, red light, what's this mean? There's something different. Red light. Is this good or bad? I I can't say as I know. Holy shit, what? Safe? That wasn't here before. <laughs> Man, when you least expect it. Oh. Okay, guys, that's about what my heart can take for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good heart smash, and as well, share this video and subscribe. Until next time, this is Skella Mystic, who's trying to recover his breath, reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace! Hey, what's up here? It's Skella Mystic. Welcome back to part three of Strange Night. In the last video, I made some fair, fair progress, even though I didn't always quite understand what was going on. I kind of, I don't know, maybe I bumped my way through it, or if it was actually supposed to happen. Right at the end, I was headed for the safe. Sinead the ghost cut me off.